Let's go live now to the Toronto Peace Garden where Mayor Olivia Chow is attending a ceremony to mark the National Day Against Gun Violence. The entire evening uh, and uh, the we have very skilled negotiator in the room. Uh, I'm glad there there was a deal. And um, right now we are waiting for the TDC board to come together and ratify the deal. And the TDC workers themselves through the union will have a meeting and then after that uh, a vote. So um, it's a bit premature for me to talk about uh, any details until the deal is ratified. But Mayor Chow, we, we know the financial situation the city is in. Yeah. Yep. Uh, how does this deal work into kind of the fiscally strapped framework of the city? Uh, yes, Toronto has a fiscal problem. We inherited a big deficit uh, last year and it continued this year. Uh, but if you consider the economic loss uh, of uh, People not being able to get to work, uh, people not being able to get to their doctor's appointments. Uh, there would be a huge, huge economic damage. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's a deal, it's a good deal for the city and for the TGC workers and for TGC itself. Was there, was there any point yesterday, you know, the union put out a statement around five that they were going to go on strike and then things kind of changed? I know you were showing some optimism the whole way, but was there any point yesterday where you were uh, a little trepidatious about the potential there could have been a strike? I was getting briefed throughout uh, the entire process until very late last night, working together with management. Um, so it's important uh, that a deal is reached. Now, <clears throat> There are a lot of complex issues, and I am very grateful that both sides were able to uh, come together and uh, negotiate a, a settlement. If gun violence awareness day today, uh, we have way more uh, shootings, shootings sure. this year than last year. What can the city do to address that issue? Or what are you doing to address that issue? Yeah. Uh, senseless violence is horrific. It's. Uh, it strikes fear in the community, but we won't allow it to do so. Uh, the city have uh, invested in a lot of safety measures, uh, certainly through enhancing the community um, uh, capacity and their resilience. We are investing more in youth programs. Uh, of course, the police are there. Uh, and. Uh, that through the, also through community crisis response unit, we are responding with care. Uh, so it's important that we get to the root problem of gun violence, and in many ways is uh, is despair and uh, is disregard of life. All of those things we must address collectively as a society and here at City Hall. Last night, the union seemed to suggest the biggest sticking point was uh, fair integration, where 905 transit agencies could stop and pick people up in Toronto and then suddenly they said progress at the table. Was that sacrifice? Did the TTC sacrifice what was the advantage of a seamless transit system to get a deal? Well, I can't comment on the detail of the deal but I do want you to know that uh, TDC and the province of Ontario and other municipality now has a one fare program, which means that you just need to pay once if you, say, live in Toronto and need to visit a, a friend in Markham or a friend in Mississauga or, or uh, go to work there. You just have to pay once through Go Transit or to any of the uh, municipal uh, transit system. That itself uh, saved a lot of people a lot of money, uh, which is a great deal. So that is not a barrier. But, but would you support a, a, a compromise where somebody standing on, uh, say, Dundas in Etobicoke has to watch a My Way bus go by and not pick them up, even though it's supposed to be an integrated system, because the union didn't want non-TTC people picking it up? That, that doesn't seem to help riders at all. In 2022, City Council so has said that uh, let's look at integration uh, to provide the best services for every transit riders and also protect um, 
the, uh, the neighborhoods in the city to make sure they have good, solid public transit service. So all of those principles are upheld. It's important that we uh, put people first in terms of negotiation. And um, the workers understand that, and so does TDC management. But as to the details, <clears throat> I'll wait for TDC uh, to uh, get into it. Mayor, I know you didn't talk about details on the, on the deal that was right, like, last night, but you can talk about the city budget. Does this deal fall within the city budget's plans? Uh, I always only spend money that we can afford. We do not overspend. We do not get into a deficit. We um, want to be fiscally very responsible, um, and that has always been my principle. It is something. It, the budget, in terms of the details of how much and all those details, will come out when TDC board. Uh, finalize and ratify the agreement, um, but um, it is important that we always live within our means and not spend any money we do not have. That is not my style. Next question. Mayor Chow, the, the, uh, the city had made contingency plans for an agreement with the Toronto Police Association. Had it done the same for the TTC? What do you mean by contingency plan? If there were uh, pay increases this year for uh, the Toronto Police Association for uh, officers, that was worked into the budget. Was that already uh, taken into account with this year's budget? A good fiscal responsible way to do a budget is to anticipate uh, all possible expenses and um, because this is a bargaining year. Uh, it was important when we approved the 2024 budget in February that we uh, make an estimate as to how much these negotiations would cost. And of course, uh, that had been part of the consideration. Can you give us a, a dollar figure? No. No? But it'll be millions of dollars if there's a lot of TTC people and even if it was close to or above inflation, do you, can you say if they're above inflation increases? I can't comment on the details, but what I can say is that the City of Toronto has now, uh, TDC has successfully uh, uh, negotiated contracts with QP2, uh, now hopefully ATU 113. There are other contracts coming on board, uh, QP416, QP76, and others. Fire, uh, police, and others are in negotiating. So with the libraries, I can go on. But um, we are, uh, because this is a negotiation a year where all the contracts comes up, we're very mindful of uh, what all that means. Question over here. This went down to this the very last minute. Sorry? This went down to the very last minute to get this agreement. A lot of people went to bed last night not knowing how they were going to get to work in the morning. What are your thoughts on why it took that last second to get this done? Um, well, I believe that TDC and ATU, the union, have been working hard for uh, quite a while. Uh, they've been at the table uh, bargaining. As you know, um, it, they had not had an opportunity to, to bargain together for many years now so because of the provincial legislation. So there had been a lot of different demands that had been on the table for a long, long time. And because of that history, it's complex. It's, uh, um, there are many issues. So that's probably why it had taken a long time. As to how and why it finally took the last hour, I, I can't comment on that. It's really the people that are at the bargaining table. I, do want you to know that I was being briefed right through the entire process, and um, and I'm very very uh, glad that we have a deal. Was there ever any point, Mr. Chow, that you thought there would be a struggle? 
I never take anything for granted, but I, uh, as you have noticed, have remained optimistic right through the process. I, I said, look, it is a very Canadian way where we listen to each other, where we uh, provide give and take, and where we would negotiate. Um, and that's why I remained um, optimistic throughout the entire process. Run by Alliance, um what do you say to the population that is worried right now? We've seen like events like last Sunday where it seemed appear to be random. Like, what do you say to them, and what more can you do, knowing that we still have more shooting than last year? Yeah, for the residents that are feeling scared. Uh, for the families that don't want to go out and play with their kids, I say to them, um, the police are out in these communities. Uh, do not let fear dominate. Please do claim your public space, and together we will keep each other safe. It, it's not just the police, it's not just City Hall. But it's the community, it's all the services, it's all the young people that are dedicated to peace. They have the power, we collectively have the power to keep each other safe. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've been listening to Mayor Olivia Chow uh, attending a press conference for National Day Against the Gun Violence.